testing. Look at all these red marks. Oh, the anxiety is real. Hi there, my name is Lorna. Nope. Hey everyone, uh, my name is Lorna. I am a 40 year old mum from Scotland and thanks for coming to my channel. Thanks for coming to my very first video. Um, first videos are always a bit rubbish, a bit pants, so don't expect anything different here. Um, I am doing this before I'm ready because I see that's the way to do it, that you should do it before you're fully ready to do it. Will you ever be ready? Um, to do a YouTube video. I'm talking to myself in an empty room um, and I am still nervous. Look at these marks on my chest. I am having what I am calling in 2023 my effort year. I am 40 now, enough of the doing what everyone else expects me to do. I have wanted to do a YouTube channel for five, ten years. I even went to start one about four or five years ago and gave up because this told me not to do it. My brain got the better of me. I overthink it. And um, I basically decided that everyone would think certain things of me starting a YouTube channel. I hadn't asked anyone apart from my husband. Um, I hadn't spoken to anyone about it, but I already had ideas of what people would think. And it basically put me off doing it. No more of that this year. This year is all about making sure that I do what I want to do when I want to do it within reason obviously um I have you'll see from the start of the channel um like my little bit at the beginning um I'm focusing on things like health and wealth and self mostly because they rhymed so yeah three areas that I'm trying to focus on so the first one is health I'm trying to get myself some sort of mobility back so I am very much basically mobile I would say just now I've not really been in great health over the last few years uh, it's mostly been um, down to chronic pain I'm pointing to where the pain was it was all here and down my face and I'm now on medication that fingers crossed is making it subside at least for now and the last six months I've pretty much been without it but I'm in a position now that I'm so used to having been there and that I would avoid certain activities, mostly movement, to avoid the pain. So I'm now going to have to try and build back up to where I was before that happened. So I'll be five, ten minutes down the road and I already am struggling to walk. So that's not down to even just fitness alone, although that's a part of it because I have been very much sedentary for um, the last few years and COVID certainly you know didn't help that but I physically am struggling with just putting one foot in front of the other so I want to find different ways to get that back um, and I'm going to do it in small chunks so the first part is going to be like five minutes at a time then 10 minutes at a time and then 15 minutes and so on so it's not going to be your normal sort of fitness and building it up where you know you're aiming to be doing weights and running and couch to 5k that kind of thing it's more about couch to just being able to walk in general so I'm definitely in that position that I've got to the point where even the smallest amount of doing something will probably garner really big results for me and that's kind of what I'm looking to do and sort of document the process um there's more things I'm looking to do like little challenges like the 30 day water challenge I absolutely know that water makes a huge difference when I do or don't drink it. Um, so there's a few extra things that I want to throw in there, but the main goal is to get me mobile um, and figure out a way to do that that is going to be, you know, in the best way for me without overdoing it initially, but getting me to that point where I feel safe um, to walk along. Because I certainly don't at the moment. Um, I'm definitely worried about how I appear um, because it's very obvious that I'm struggling to walk. 
So the second part is going to be all about the wealth side of things. So that's maximising income coming in and what we're doing with the income going out. So all the fun stuff like budgeting and saving. Um, if anyone can actually do that just now, does anyone have any money to save just now? I know it's definitely, you know, few and far between in our house just now. Um, but it's all about making sure that we know how we're spending that money going out and what kind of budget we're setting ourselves, what we can cut back on, what we are spending money on, what are, you know, the necessities that you need to spend money on and making sure that we are maximising the money that's coming in. Um, so I run my own business, my husband runs his own, um, but he's also employed and he does extra stuff on the side. There's a lot of different streams of income that we're trying to bring in, um, but it's definitely been a year of turmoil last year with a lot of things being different in terms of income. We definitely took a hit and we weren't prepared for that and it's really just getting into that state of being prepared going forward. Um, and looking at ways that we can make things better. The third part is all about self. So that's is really as simple as me starting this channel. I really want to look at things that benefit myself. So in different sorts of ways. So one, looking at things that I really wanted to do for a long time, like starting this channel, but also, you know, something simple is reading more books. I am right into crime and thriller. I read five, six books in a row last year and then nothing for six months. And I just get bogged down with other things in my life and I completely forget to continue to read. And I love reading. The other thing that I'm right into reading just now is essentially like self-help books. Um, good Vibes, Good Life, Manifest, Flip the Switch, um, Think and Grow Rich, The 4-Hour Working Week, um, I have them all. And I've sort of dipped in here and there, dipped a toe in and not really sat and read them all properly. And I'm starting to get into that this year, the start of this year. And it, do, it does make you have a different mindset. Um, I know a lot of people think it's, you know, fluff and it doesn't really work to anything. I think there's some um, element of that where it might seem like, you know, it's a really higher power getting involved. But I do think mindset has a lot to do with everything. And I know when I am certainly down in the dumps and everything is woes me then everything is woes me and I feel like when I'm in a positive space and I feel more excited about things that's when I do see more opportunities so I do sometimes think that there is a little bit correct with that whole mindset and I want to read more into that um, and of course um, just in general reading and simple things like going for a bath looking after myself better um, at maybe getting ready for the day, just really simple things. Like I think we've all became very sedentary over COVID and very, I'm just going to stay in my comfies all day kind of. And I never was like that um, because I had to go out to work. And when I did that, I would get dressed for the day. I would be set up and ready to go. And I feel like if I don't do that now, I can definitely feel a bit of a slump is more of a a push to do things rather than I'm ready and set for the day to do things. Um, that will become a bit serious. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I'm looking at. So looking at um, getting myself mobile, looking at um, my finances and money coming in, money going out, and then looking after myself and then maybe sort of building on it from there because I've got lots of different ideas in my head. Um, I would like to do recipe vlogs. I'd like to do vlogs in general. I don't know how that's going to work because my husband and my kids definitely don't um, want to be in anything, certainly at the start. Um, but I would like to get into a feel for doing different things. But I don't really know where that's going to take me. And that really wasn't the point of just starting. Um, I thought I'd just start, I'll wing it, it'll come to me as a go. Um, so if you'd like to come along for this journey of complete chaos basically and um, what video comes next and what I'm going to talk about next um, and how this journey looks like for me on YouTube then please subscribe and click the notification bell and you'll be told when my next video comes up. If you've got this far I would like to say thank you and thank you so much um, for continuing to watch um, right to the very end and I will see you on my next one. Bye! How many times 
have I said M in this video? If you can count them all and get it right, then you get the pride of being right. I have said it so many times. I have tried, tried my hardest not to do it, but it's obviously going to come with time, whether or not I continue to do that. It's very annoying. I notice it only when I'm editing. I don't notice it when I'm actually talking. So frustrating. Um, oh, I just did it. 